Okay, we're back here. We're working on our antique rocking chair. We're in a project right now. We have uh, one of the rockers on the old antique chair was broken here. And we have to make another one. So what I did is I laid the, I laid the rocker out on an arch here, on a little jig that I built. What we're going to do is I ripped up a bunch of pieces of wood, little thin pieces, and what we're going to do is we're going to laminate this thing together to make a new rocker out of it. But what we're going to be doing here is we're going to start off with glue. And you want to you want to make sure you got a good coat of, good, of a good quality glue. This is a glue here we use for making cabinets with. And to this date I've never had a cabinet come loose so make sure we got good contact all of it and we want to take our next piece and lay right here beside it we want to do the same thing with it and we're going to take our stick and we're going to make sure we get plenty on it What we're going to do each time is we're going to take this one, we're going to lay it on top of that one, and we're going to bring us another one up. Alright, we've got them all together. We're going to turn them up. We're going to lay here. And get our first clamp. Alright, we've got our clamps on now. We're going to take us a damp rag and wipe the glue off of everything before it starts drying. And we're going to leave it till it dries and see if we can get our rocker made out of it. Okay, what we have here, we have our rocker made for our rocking chair. And we've laid our holes out. We have a small 3 8 hole to be drilled in the front. We'll be drilling a 3 quarter inch hole in the back. What we're going to do, this hole is going to go all the way through the rocker because we're going to run a dowel rod up through the, the whole part of the um, rocking chair there. This one here, we're going to stop 1 16th of an inch shy of coming all the way through it because it's a 3 quarter one and we don't need it to go all the way through. And we put a little shim here because this one has to be drilled on a specific angle. Okay, we've drilled this one all the way through. Now we're going to change out. And I might want to mention here that what we're using here is Forstner bits. That's the type of bit that we want to use on a rocking chair. And drilling in this application here, you don't want to use a regular drill bit like you use to drill steel or wood with. These Forstner bits are the way to go when drilling into this type of a situation. Okay, what we want to do here is we don't want this one to go all the way through. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this bottom platform here. So that that bit doesn't go all the way through the rocker. done at this point is we have taken this rocker and we have marked on it where the back leg of our rocking chair fits into it and we have put a Forstner bit three quarter inch Forstner bit into our small drill press here that we use on our furniture and we've drilled this hole we stopped I don't know if you can tell here we stopped just shy 
of coming through the other side of this rocker because you really don't want it to go through it. We stop like a eighth of an inch from going completely through this rocker. And what we'll do is, let me bring it around over here to where we're at. Here in the shop, we have the rocker, we have the other one on it. What we're going to do here, we're going to do a test fit. See how this works out, and we have the rocker on it. As you can tell, it matches up with the other one that's on there. And then we'll glue it up, and we'll have our rockers on our rocking chair. Uh, we had a problem with the front leg. Uh, the side was busted off of it there. Um, don't actually know what happened. That's just the way it was. So what I decided to do was I take and then I hand carved another one to go on it to replace it with. And I set up my Forstner bit with a 3 8 inch bit and I drilled all the way through the rocker, all the way through the center of this, all the way up into here. And I put a 3 8 dowel rod through this whole thing and I glued all of it together. And then we glued and clamped all this together. And as soon as we get through with that, that should pretty much be it at, at, up to this point. We've got it glued and clamped right now. We're going to wait a couple of days and take it off. Okay, here we have the piece that goes in the back of the chair. We've cut the radius here on it. Made it down to the right size on that end. We've cut this end down where it'll fit in the chair. We're going to try to give it a test fit here and, and see if we can make this part, if we've got it right. Alright, that one went in. And that one went in. So all we got to do now is just get some glue on this part and we're going to glue it all up here in a little while and put that back together and we'll have the back end. What we have here is the antique rocker. We're working on it. Uh, the lady that we're doing it for decides that she wanted to, to have it painted. So we're going to kill it first, being it's an old piece of furniture. Then we're going to sand it down and get it really, really smooth before we spray the finished coat on it. One of these I cut completely off here or here and I rehand carved a piece and drilled a dowel rod and put back down through them. I don't know if it's visible to y'all which one it was that I done. But we put we put them back on there to try to make it look as authentic as, as we could. Alright, we finished putting three coats of kills on it. We just sanded it with a real fine sandpaper. Now we're just kind of going over it to make sure we don't have any dust on it. Getting ready for the final, starting to put the finished coats on. Well, we've got the first coat on the chair here now. Get some of this white kills covered up. Got a good thick coat on it. So you're going to let it sit overnight, dry really, really good, and kind of get an idea about what it's going to look like tomorrow once it dries completely. We got the seat off of the, uh, the little rocker. We went and cut us a new piece of plywood here. It, the old one was all rotted up and is in bad shape. We cut this one out and we took a file, and we a wood file, and we rounded the edges off on it here where we won't, uh, you know, won't have a sharp edge on it. And we've, We've laid it on top of our foam stuff here. You want to cut this about three eighths of an inch larger than your seat so that when you pull your uh, cloth down, that will roll over the edge there and you don't have that sharp edge against your leg there. We went ahead and cut our material. We cut it about four inches wider on each side than the seat is so we've got room to fold it over 
and to staple it all down All right, we've got the cushion on, got it all, the lines all lined up to the corners like they're supposed to be, got it all folded under the bottom and stapled on a new piece of plywood. So we've got it all put together, ready to go back to the chair. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get this thing mounted on this chair like so. So we can get a finished product here. So what we're going to do is kind of take this thing and turn it over. We're going to lay it on top of another chair so we don't damage it. All right. We want to make sure we're spaced evenly all the way up on it. Make sure the front is back. We've got good spacing. What we want to do is take our screws. See if we can get in that hole. See if we can get enough downward pressure on this to... Get them to hold. 